start one here, and then the inner loop lays them out across, inner loop finishes, outer loop moves down one, lay them across, inner loop finishes, outer loop goes down one. So outer loop's basically controlling them down here, the inner loops go across. So, um, okay, num tiles y, and i plus plus. Okay, um, now in, inside here, we're actually going to create a, a second 2D array. So we've got the map 2D array, which holds these numbers, which are just ones and zeros that represent whether you can walk on a tile or not. We need a second 2D array to hold the actual tile movie clips themselves. So to do that, I'm going to say tiles uh, i equals an array there. So this is basically creating an array, and then this is creating a second array inside. It's basically the same thing going on here. This square box is like saying new array, and then inside that, um, well, for each time, for when it's 0, it's going to create a new array there. It's gonna, when it's 1, it's going to create a new array there. And the second element of this array is going to create a new array. third element of this array is going to create a new array. And that, effectively, is going to create a 2D array. So, um, what we're going to say now is, well, we're going to have our second loop, the inner one. So I just paste that, and it's going to be J, 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 and this needs to be num tiles X, because again, this is that inner loop, basically, lays the tiles across on the X axis. Okay, so to actually attach, I'll just put in the brackets, to actually attach the um, clips, um, we'll just create a few variables. Uh, clip name, type string, we'll just call it um, tile plus i uh, plus j. Um, so it is like tile 0, 0, tile 0, 1, tile 0, 2, tile 1, 1, etc. It goes to the loops. Um, we don't really need to use that name. We need to give it a name to add the movie clip, but we won't really be using them, so don't need to worry about it too much. Uh, I'm going to create a variable data type movie clip to actually hold the new clips as we um as we basically we add them. Um, and we're gonna need a depth one. Now this basically um get next. So when you um when you add things on the stage you use layers and so on like you know everything gets added to a layer here and so on. When we add stuff with ActionScript, instead of using these layers, it uses what's called a depth. So, um, if we added, um, you know, seven objects already, this stuff get next highest depth will just would return the number eight. Just to, uh, it just every every movie clip you add dynamically needs to be assigned to a different depth. Um, yeah, so this will just automatically work it out for. You. Again, we don't really need to use those depths in this example. Um, so I don't need to worry about it too much, other than that it's sort of assigning it an automatic layer um, that way. So, and then to actually, um, well, inside that clip variable type movie clip, we're actually going to attach a movie from the library, and it needs three parameters. First one is that linkage name we gave it. Uh, the second is just the, the clip name we've created above, and the depth we've also created above. So, it's that one. Now, um, on each clip, we're going to have an if statement here, which is going to look at the map 2D array. Again, not the tiles. The tiles 2D array just holds the actual movie clip tiles. The map 2D array is looking, these, holds these values here, the ones and the zeros that say whether a tile's empty or not. So if we're going to look at tiles i and then at j, if that's equal to 1, then we're going to say clip. So the current movie clip that we've just laid down, we're going every clip that we lay down is going to have a variable called empty. That's what that dot empty does just automatically creates a variable on each of those clips. We're going to set that to false. So we want to say basically if it's a one, then its empty property is false, meaning we can't walk on that tile. Just quickly, I'm going to add this clip dot um go to and stop. We'll get rid of this eventually. This is just to do with that um. When we created that tile clip, it's got two frames, frame one and frame two. It's just, we're just going to use it to begin with just to visually show what's happening when we lay down the movie clips. You'll see it pretty soon. So, so if it's not a one, then it's empty probably is going to be true. Go to stop frame one. 
Okay, so let's actually attach them now, but they'll all be attached so far. When you attach a clip automatically, it just gets placed at 0, 0, uh, x0, zero, y0, zero, so we need to actually space them out. So we can conveniently use the uh, i and the j properties combined with the tile width to actually lay down the clips, as we'll see here. So if we say clip, your x position is equal to j, so that whatever position of the inner loop we're up to, times uh, tile width. So it's just using some simple arithmetic to basically help lay out the tiles. Um, okay, and your y position is based on whatever i is up to, times tile width. Um, and finally, we are going to, so the tiles, that array we created, again, the tiles, 2D array holds, physically actually holds the, the movie clips, whereas the map 2D array just holds these 1 and 0 values, which um, say whether we can actually walk on the tile or not. So position ij, we actually want to place the current clip that we're working with. So um, if we run this now, now we're actually going to need to call this function. So underneath the function, just going to actually call it. And hopefully we'll see that it's laying down the tiles and so on. So and I see it has its work, thankfully. And you can see um, what's happened is, so first time this loop starts and then it hits this loop and then the first tile it attaches, it's placed it here because um, J was 0 and I was 0, so placed it at 0, 0. And then the next time J was 1 uh, times 48, so place that tile there, place that tile there. There, there, there. How this shading's working, um, well, if you remember, our, our tile clip's got two frames, the lighter one and the darker, uh, and that's what this goes. So if it was if it was a one, then um, it was go to a stop frame two. If it was uh, zero, there, then it's um, gone to the lighter one. So you can actually see, well, basically, that we've got... Um, two different kinds of tile. Well, I mean, they're all the same sort of tile, but uh, we got... So, all the darker ones have a, a variable on them. Which, uh, well, they all have a variable attached. Every single one of these tile movie clips has a variable called empty. These ones, the darker ones, are set to, uh, to false, and the lighter ones are set to true. So, um, just, just to quickly prove that, we can do that really quickly. Um, we, for every clip, if we just say clip, on release equals show empty property uh, call function call that we'll, I mean again this is just for testing we'll get rid of this function but function show empty property na, na, na. and if we trace this I mean the clip we've clicked on and it's empty property we should see hopefully so we click on that one it says it's false false these ones are true, so it's sort of showing that they all do have these variable, or they all do have a variable called empty, which is either set to true or to false, and which we're going to use, uh, the character's going to look at, basically, to um, to see if we can walk on that tile on it. Okay, so that's, that's set up, um, and, I mean, so we've still got, it's still, you know, it's got these colours on them, which, I mean, visually, it's, it's, it's it's helping, I think, but we'll get rid of that. It'll, it will, they will be invisible um, by the end of this video. So what we're going to look at now, um, one problem, I mean, we've got these. They're, they're true and they're false, but the character's not reading them. It's still, the character's still just walking around wherever. So next thing we've got to do is, is looking at changing that. So, um, so to do that, um, what we're going to do, the basic principle of what we'll be doing is, um, if I just run this, as we press the keys and the character walks around, so say I'm here, what we're going to do is we're going to set it up. So say I'm pressing the right key here. We're going to, rather than just moving the character straight away, we're actually going to, say we press the right key, the left key, before we actually move the character, we're going to um, actually look, say, well, if I press, if I'm right here and uh, I'm, I press the right key to move the character and he goes there, and moves across by three pixels or so on. Well, rather than just moving him the 